Well, hello everybody and thank you so much for taking some time today uh, with me. We're going to talk about uh, a subject that I think uh, a lot of our clients, a lot of people are unfortunately living at this moment, uh, is rosacea. As we know, we're all confined at home and uh, you know we have a lot of stress, emotion. We'll see that in the, throughout this presentation that food may interfere with uh, rosacea, especially if you're genetically predisposed. Uh, so I think I'm, I want to give you a full overview uh, of what you need to know about, uh, you know, unfortunately, the skin disorder that we see a lot more, and especially during this time. So my name is Manon Pilon. I'll be doing this presentation uh, for you today. And again, thank you for joining me. So rosacea, acne rosacea, I'm just going to cover uh, briefly a touch on acne, because I think it's important to, uh, to understand uh, the difference between rosacea and acne. Uh, and at the same time, I want you to know this is an aesthetic perspective. So I want to use, uh, you know, easy uh, words. I want to simplify it so that we're all on the same page. This, uh, pre <laughs> this presentation is uh, sponsored by Nelly DeVos. So I will have just a quick um, commercial. I'll call it a commercial just before this presentation. Uh, so as you know, most of you have been with Nelly DeVos for more than uh, 35 years. I stopped at 35, so it's about 38 years now. Uh, I've been using this product ever since, uh, you know, in my own uh, spa, a medical spa. So I'm very, you know, very proud to say that we're still behind this brand that, you know, come out with such much uh, uh, innovation. I want to also thank the entire team of R&D. Uh, because without them, we would not be here today. So all the universities and researchers that are working behind this product. Uh, so again, thank you. So quick, uh, I just want to do a quick commercial. Again, uh, just a quick overview where we stand. Let me just uh, see. I see that there's still people to be admitted. I'll ask my, um, I'll ask Mona to assist me. I think they're requesting me to be admitted. Okay, we're all good. Uh, so. Let, let's start. I want you to know that uh, Nelly, the, Nelly the Burst of, overall is um, all the plants we use is cosmetic, you know, uh, certified, sorry, by uh, EcoCert, Cosmos Organic, which is the largest organization worldwide uh, represented in more than 120 countries. Uh, so, you know, when consumers are looking for clean ingredients, um, nowadays people don't want to look at the ingredient listing. They just want to have it easy. So they're looking for that certification. So EcoCert is key. It doesn't mean that uh, having an EcoCert product or certified Cosmos organic product is good. So you also have to measure efficacy. So this is, you know, the challenge, uh, unfortunately, with organic products on the industry uh, that, you know, everybody's been having. having. So we will show you that, you know, if, you know with uh, all the research and the advancement today, we're able to, to provide so much more. Uh, so I'm very excited. Of course, cruelty-free, it's important to know, you know, that it's a full overall sustainable product. We're looking at fair trade, also all the material, uh, you know, that is recyclable. That's what we're aiming. Let me just take my technical. Uh... All right. Okay. This is great. My slide is not moving. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I'm going to go gentle. So Overall, we know that this cosmetic uh, organic world is really uh, evolving. So we're looking at, um, you know, a big industry coming up. We want to have a sustainable product that we're working with, no matter who we are. And we want to have results. Uh, but this is an industry that's looking at 48, we're looking at $48 billion industry. So it's really coming up as to be, you know, very big. Uh, let me just click here. Having a little problem with my, um, my slide transfer. Let me just go gently. Unfortunately, there is misled um, information either on the visual, like when you buy a product, consumers are a bit confused. Uh, so they think that it, because it says organic, it's organic. Uh, or because it says, they say it's natural, the product says it's natural. You know, we think it's natural, but you have to, we do have to do a little bit of more uh, research. We, it, it's been found that uh, sometimes some products that are claiming to be organic have less than 1% organic certification. So this is something that we need to be a little bit more concerned. People are confused when they buy their product. They don't know what to look for, uh, even how to read a label. So it's, uh, of course, it's a good thing to know, but there's different applications out there that are coming handy for the consumer uh, and the patients to look and to actually mm -hmm. say, oh, is this product clean or not clean? Uh, so there is different websites today with internet. We can find that, you know, there's a lot of uh, products, a brand that are claiming things, but not necessarily uh, you know, delivering. 
as far as the, uh, you know, what the label actually say. So having, for the consumer, having EquiCert, I'm almost finished my, I'll call it commercial, uh, having the EquiCert certified um, uh, certification is just a reassurance for the consumer. Why? Because there's a full yeah. audit. There's an entire audit, um, I mean, the, 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 uh, the laboratory, sorry, the EquiCert organization comes in and audit, you know, the lot number, when the product has been produced, the ingredients, uh, also, you know, the, is, is the ingredient certified by the actual provider, uh, the farmer, where it's actually been produced. So all of this, it's, it's kind of uh, important in the sense that uh, it's basically consumer protection. So that's why this organization is really growing, uh, you know, in order to provide that kind of uh, material. When you buy a product, of course, EcoCert will not allow parabens and silicone. So that's why you don't need to look at the ingredients when you have that logo, mineral oils, you know, sulfates uh, that are often found in so many products today. Uh, our products, of course, you know, we want to look for a vegan product. Uh, organic certified uh, formulations would not accept all these chemicals, but at the same time, you know, you know, we're looking at things that are in important as far as the uh, ingredients in order to get the efficacy. Uh, so I think that's important. And EcoCert, it's a license. So it has to be registered. And of course, they come in the manufacturer two times for an audit. Uh, they also come at the distributor. So each uh, product you see, um, and we have more than 40 organic certified formulation, uh, which we're very proud, you know, have a certificate number. So it's kind of uh, exciting. So and Nelly Diverse, just in conclusion, uh, before we start talking about rosacea, Nelly Diverse has a full bioscience uh, skincare line, which we work with DNA from with uh, sperm of salmon, with pentapeptides and peptides, uh, and all the ingredients related to plants are organic certified by EcoCert. Then we're the first to provide an anti-acne product uh, with the claim FDA approved and Health Canada approved of uh, anti-acne. Because as you know, this is a claim that's regulated. So you really have to demonstrate that it has, it has an efficacy. So we're proud to be the first one that has that certification on each and every product. So we're six products for acne. Now you're gonna find out in this presentation, of course, rosacea, uh, acne rosacea and acne. We're talking about two different uh, microorganism or pathogenic uh, activity. Uh, so this is just about, uh, you know, when we refer to the Populibacterium acne. So that's really vulgaris acne, etc. Uh, so we have also the uh, Biofem. The Biofem is a full line, 10 products for women's wellness. So we're all, we're part of the research um, a company that actually demonstrate that your pH, vaginal pH, should always be between 3.8 and 4.1. This is healthy, where your candida albicans uh, are in, let's say, in a healthy environment. So that's our microbiota or flora of the vaginal area. So that's when it's actually protecting us and providing us the, the good immunity. But when this is altered, when you have a pH 4.2 and over, then your health is at, actually at risk. Sometimes we start to have uh, feelings like we're tired and uh, you know, we have bloating, uh, we have memory loss. There's all kinds of uh, factor that happens. And that's really the 79 byproducts of endotoxins and neurotoxins that are actually liberated by the candida albicans when they're actually pathogenic. And when they're pathogenic is when their pH, uh, your pH is at beyond uh, pH 4.1. So it's important to have a gynecology pH paper and to test yourself regularly, uh, especially at this time, because we all know that we're unfortunately uh, eating too much sweet, uh, too much sugar, we don't drink enough water, and all of these factors will affect pH. Tight clothing, of course, uh, all forms of chemicals when you take a bath that you know, maybe have sulfate or soap, your regular you know, bar of soap can actually uh, cause your pH uh, damage. So this is a whole different education, and I'll come back with, uh, with different uh, training as well as acne uh, like this, like quick uh, video training. Oh, yeah. And uh, of course, uh, Biotance uh, has been making the full media. We have the, we're the first company in the professional field found in professional medical spas and spa around the world that we actually deliver results that is certified by EcoCert. Because having the certification does not mean, again, I want to repeat that you have results. So just keep in mind, and so it's 11 products that we're so proud uh, to really, you know, that's really created us such a big success 
uh, worldwide because of the efficacy. So we have hyaluronic acid, uh, we have a vitamin C, and all of the formulation has been uh, certified by EcoCert. And it's been in the media. I'm sure you've seen uh, the media exposure that we've had over the years, uh, over the last year. Uh, so I will pass on all the media, but you can find all of this, sorry, in the, um, I mean, uh, on our website, Nelly Diverse uh, website. All right, you are here today to discuss, or I'm here today, I should say, to discuss, you know, what is rosacea uh, and how does it take place? So first of all, we all know uh, that it is a family of neurovascular skin disorder. Usually 50% of it, we get it from a genetic heritance. Uh, so we get it from mom or, or dad. We do have a tendency or pre, you know, predisposition if we're genetically predisposed. But where, where does it usually occur? We know that it occurs in the T-zone area and especially in the butterfly area. So we know that that's where it occurs. And we need to make the difference between rosacea and acne rosacea. So rosacea, you see the redness. Uh, the diffused redness that uh, appears on the skin. You, be, you may be blushing, uh, you may be turning red very easily, uh, but reality is, you know, that's part of the category of neurovascular disorders, but it's the first step of rosacea, but it could go into acne rosacea. So this is what we're going to be discussing. So we can see on, in reality, you know, it starts with a bit of a flush, a blush, and then we see these papules and pustules that do take place. And I, my theory is that, of course, the, the papules are really related to the demodex folliculorum mite. So we have all bugs on our skin. It's part of our microbiota, right? It's our, uh, it's our microbiomes uh, that are making, you know, our, our skin uh, as cells and our environment as a healthy or environment to defend us. Uh, from uh, the out outdoors, right? So we want to be protected. We want to have a skin that's uh, healthy. Uh, so when the pH is off in certain skin condition, uh, due to genetic heritage in most cases, 50% of cases, you do have a tendency to develop, uh, unfortunately, a lot more count of the demodex folliculorum mite. We all have these bugs, but these clients may develop a little bit more when they're under a lot of stress and we'll see the different uh, cases. Uh, so the vascular system is really how we can identify it. So in, in other words, the capillary, you see at the papillary junction here, becomes more dilated. So the arterial microcirculation is more porous. So it's almost like the pipes are, you know, are allowing more of the blood to get through. And that's why we see that diffuse redness. But on the other hand, when we see, if you look here, if the skin is thick, we don't really see the redness thick on the epidermal structure, so where the cells are really starting to slowly shed off. Uh, but when the, thin, the skin is thin, then we see that the skin's vascular system a lot more. So we can see a lot more of the blush and the, fl you know, the flush. And of course, you know, if you have more pigment uh, or melanin content in your skin, so if you're darker, what we call Fitzpatrick skin type five and six, you won't see that much of the redness, but you definitely will have more sensitivity at the capillary level. Oh. So how it takes place, I like to use a, a more of a, a visual like this. So it starts to first with a diffuse redness. That's the first stage. So it goes in stages. It, you know, it appears with a flush and a blush and then it goes, it's either permanent or not permanent. Second stage is what we call telangiectasia. So when you have those capillaries that are all dilated, that often are visible, sometimes not so visible, that you need a magnifying, you know, five diopter to actually see it. Those are dilated capillary. We look at it as like broken, but they're actually dilated. That's how we see it. And then of course, acne rosacea. That's a third stage. So if we're not careful with our diet, with specific, you know, with the environment, of course, controlling our stress, then of course it could deteriorate into acne rosacea. And the person that's responsible, the person, uh, the actual responsible for this is called the demodex folliculorum mite. So it has little legs, it has claws, and we all have it on our skin. It lives you know, perfectly on our skin. What happens is when you have a higher count and when your pH is not balanced at a pH 5.5, then your skin gets, you know, of course, gets affected. And then you have that multiplication uh, and the hypertrophic activity of the sebaceous glands of so the gland started to produce more oil. You started to have those bumps and unfortunately those pimples that appears. 
So this is really the person, that, the not person, but the uh, microorganism that's responsible uh, for that. And of course, if we're not careful, we go into renal FEMA and the, you know, we see a lot more cases of ocular rosacea. I don't know if you realize, but in the last five years, we've seen a lot more cases of, that, of uh, ocular rosacea. And I, I think I have a picture. Oh yeah, I do have a picture a little bit later on. But that rosacea, the ocular rosacea, when it happens on your eye contour and you start losing lashes, and you start having those capillaries that are all dilated. Um, and that usually happens, you know, and we see so much more because of those false lashes. People put glue in false lashes. It's nice to use that occasion, but we shouldn't put this on, on full time, on a regular basis, especially if you're genetically predisposed to rosacea. Now, if you don't have any rosacea predisposition, you have no worries. And you can wear those false lashes all the time with good maintenance and good products. But if you don't, then we, you know, you have to be aware that you are predisposed, then you should be extremely careful and use them only uh, at occasion uh, because of the glue is what really makes the interference uh, and, of course, interferes with the health of your skin and your skin is there to defend you and your lashes as well. Um, uh, and the, uh, sorry, the microbiota of your lashes. And that's what unfortunately affects um, the losses of lashes. So let's look at uh, how it takes place. So we see rosacea stage one. Uh, we see that it's a form of erythema. So it comes either red and it goes away, or sometimes it does remain like those red rosy cheeks. You know, then it, we, if we're not careful, it could go into that redness turns into dilated capillaries. So those are stagnant, stagnant uh, capillaries that we see at the surface of the skin. Uh, so of course that's in stage two. And then when we start to have acne rosacea, we move from stage two to stage three. When we have those mites that live and feed themselves from altered sebum, um, so they multiply and they, you know, and the more we don't necessarily eat well, uh, the more we can have actually that proliferation, that multiplication on our skin. Uh, so, and they, you know, their life cycle goes from eight to 24 days. I mean, they die, but they repeat themselves. And when we kind of lost control, uh, that's when, you know, we start having those pimples and those, the redness. Uh, so this is what it looks like in a, in a bigger view, the legs and we saw the claws. Uh, and then Nelly Diverse as a small side, we do have a product uh, specifically formulated for sensitive skin uh, that is um, beyond just sensitive skin because we look at sensitive skin and Nelly for redness. But beyond that, this formulation works on um, the, in, to in, inhibit or stop the proliferation the multiplication of those uh, Demodex polychloram mite. So it's a night treatment. You use it every night, and it's natural. You see the, you know, the essential oils. It's the plant uh, component that really have such an amazing results without, you know, um, for you to see results without necessarily using any forms of medication. So it's kind of nice. And of course, renal FEMA, we need surgery. It's not a, such a pleasant uh, slide. And this is the slide I was looking for. You can see the dilated capillaries that's when we start losing the lashes in stage five of rosacea. So let's be more aware and also teach uh, everyone around us that, you know, it's important to uh, not wear those lashes uh, at all times. Uh, in Nelly Diverse, we have the, the micellar foam uh, that's quite nice because you don't need to rinse because often, you know, people that wear those lashes, they don't want to wash them because if they, the more you wash, the more they, they don't last long and they spend so much money for it. So you just want to save them. So in the, uh, it's kind of nice. We have a micellar foam that's organic certified uh, and of course has no GMO. And I'm not sure if you're aware, but um, according to the Gastroenterology Association, um, there was a research that anything close to the eyes with gluten should not be used. So make sure you use a gluten-free product around your eyes. So this one is gluten-free. It's a micellar. It's a, it's a cleanser for your face, but also great for your lashes because you don't need to rinse. So it's in a kind of a way, a nice way so you can keep your lashes for a long period of time. So as a, just as a re resume, if you'd like, stage one, you see it starts with flush and blush. It may disappear. We're not careful. It moves into telangiectasia, acne rosacea, renal fema, and unfortunately, uh, we have that uh, capillary dilation around the eyes and maybe losing our lashes in stage five. What are the main causes of rosacea? So we know that there's a genetic heritage. So of course, 50% will may cause by this. And second one is your lifestyle. Uh, so of course, if you're on the boat in the summer with no sunscreen, no protection, uh, you may affect the capillary structure. 
Uh, so genetically, if you're predisposed, it's one thing. So as soon as you eat spicy food and, uh, you know, alcoholic beverages, that may, uh, you know, um, aggravate the condition. Uh, so, of course, we, those are the main causes of rosacea. But what will aggravate is what I like to insist on. Uh, so if we focus on aggravation, then we really can help a lot of people in our environment. So we said the heat, the sun. If anything that they need to purchase is a sunscreen that's mineral for rosacea skin. Anybody that presents themselves with those signs, they should use a mineral sunscreen, a minimum of SPF, uh, not a minimum, but SPF 30 is good enough. A mineral, it's really the, like a reflector. So you'll be protected uh, and you should never go outside you know, without that, sun, that mineral sunscreen. Um, of course, the heat, the pollution, try to stay away from it. So it's, you know, we're, some, some of our uh, locations is great and some others none and you, you, there's not much you could do with it, but having proper cleansings will make a good, you know, a big difference. Spicy food, anything that's blood stimulating like herbs like ginkgo biloba, for example, can aggravate your rosacea. Uh, acidic food, uh, anything that turns acidic into your stomach. So your fried food, uh, your fatty cheese, um, you know, your condiments, all of this will aggravate rosacea. Alcoholic beverages, of course we say, you know, some people say, come on, man, I'm not gonna, live uh, my life now maybe you can reduce by 50 percent and it's going to make a difference smoking enhanced uh, secondhand smoking uh also will aggravate rosacea stimulant like uh car, caffeine Oops, i'm sorry if, if you don't mind maybe maybe putting your uh, microphone on mute i really appreciate it. Uh, so stimulant like coffee uh, forms of medication we could look it up on the on you know on the internet is anything you know blood stimulating? Have I just suddenly developed rosacea recently? Maybe it's stress related. Maybe it's caused by a certain medication. We need to find a cause, and of course, uh, you know, try to discuss it with your physician. Hormones, of course, uh, contraceptive will contribute and stress. <clears throat> Who doesn't have stress right now? So when your parasympathetic nervous system is completely off, you know, it affects you. So maybe you want to use some breathing. Uh, exercise. You want to do some exercise, uh, yoga, uh, meditation, something to help yourself, especially if you're genetically uh, predisposed to it. Uh, imbalance of the digestive system. If we don't have two to three bowel movements per day, uh, it's called constipation, and that's not good. So we want to make sure that we have vertical elimination. So eat more fibers, and you know, of course, drink more water. Uh, excessive heat and sauna. Some of you that have saunas at home, you want to stay away from those sauna. Or if when you go in it, you don't stay more than five minutes. As soon as you turn more red, that means already it's bad for you. So if we do, you know, um, like weightlifting and we become so red nonstop, just just do it with moderate uh, activity. Hot shower, take it a little bit more cool. Excessive exercise, we talk. Topical chemicals. Yes, so you have, sometimes you have to make choices. So if you're gonna use an alpha hydroxy acid, like glycolic acid, tartaric acid, citric acid, um, malic acid, all these beautiful uh, mandalic, uh, so all these beautiful uh, chemicals that will have sometimes great effect on wrinkled skin, maybe not good for you. It's too blood stimulating, especially if the pH is low. So anywhere from a product, a finished product that's pH 3.5 and lower, that's what counts. So make sure that you don't use that or at least don't use it on the cheeks, um, you know, the T-zone where we saw that rosacea gets aggravated. And hydroquinone, I'm not even going to go there. Uh, equipment, you know, you go to your spa and of course anything that you know, have to make a choice. If you do microcurrent, microcurrent is good for muscle, cutaneous muscle tone, but maybe not good for rosacea. So you have to make a choice, you know, and, and be aware. If you do microdermabrasion, you know, the pressure, uh, any massage that will be blood stimulating, you have to be extremely careful on these zones. Same thing with blackhead removal. You know, when you go to the esthetician, we say that, uh, you know, please, uh, there's products that dissolves blackhead today. Uh, we have one in Nelly that is called the purifying extract. You put it on, 75% is gone of your blackheads, open comedon, you know, after one month. So product does it. Why do we have to go through that torture, especially on rosacea skin? I know sometimes we get a facial and we just feel so clean if the extraction is done. Uh, but your esthetician, you know, will tell you that on these areas, we're not going to go too much to, I mean, we're not going to torture the skin, uh, obviously, because products today can dissolve it. Um, and the skin area is extremely sensitive. Now, avoid certain things like prolonged steam session. 
uh, or we said sauna, right? Hot towels, extraction on those specific areas, stimulating massage, I said stimulating equipment. Peels and microdermabrasion is fine, just of course done uh, in the hands of your professional, your medical doctor and or your medical esthetician or your esthetician. Stimulating uh, skincare products, we talked about that, so just be extremely careful. Uh, in Nelly, the first, uh, you, can, you can look today, of course, everybody's confined at home, the spas are not yet open, the medical spas either, but I just say recommend, you know, for you to look into the website and look for the rosacea uh, kit and make sure that you, you choose a territory where your spa or your medical spa is located to purchase it. Uh, so if there's a specific product for rosacea, of course, a specific products for acne rosacea. The most important, we said, is the sunscreen. If there's anything you remember in this whole, pr whole presentation is the sunscreen. Why mineral sunscreen and a full, you know, I'd say sustainable formula? Because your skin is so easily uh, per permeable. Because it's more pre permeable, you don't want to use chemical filters, which is 95% of what's out there, 95%. Not only it's hurting or it's actually affecting the environment, you're actually, you know, the corals are, are getting damaged. You're bleaching the corals. You're not helping the reefs. So we need to protect that. We need to think more consciously. But beyond that, because your skin is more absorbent, you don't want those chemicals to get through your skin. So any UVB uh, chemicals. So when you have a, a, you know, UVA or UVB, but I'm, what I'm looking at is the UVB filters, you need to make sure that you use mineral and try to use a clean formula. Of course, organic certified, then this way you know that it's completely a sustainable product. So uh, the beauty with this product, not only it has hyaluronic acid, it has vitamin C, so it has your antioxidant in it. It has uh, Acmelia Oleacera, which is an anti-aging Botox-like uh, um, treatment, if you'd like, uh, anti-aging treatment. So it's all, you know, uh, three in one. And it also has a digital blue light protection because we're always in front of our computers, or in front of our cell phone. Uh, so it has so much benefit, and plus it's an SPF 30, plus it's organic certified, and we don't use any nanoparticles. You don't want to use titanium dioxide that has na uh, nanoparticles. More important, mineral sunscreen, majority of them are thick. You put them on and you're like, ah, oh, it's so thick, it's so white, you look like a white mask. Our new, newest formulation, uh, so this formulation has been existing now for two, maybe three years, but we've had the five upgraded uh, formulation. We were able to make a translucent uh, SPF 30 mineral. So that's what's so uh, innovative. So we're one of the only companies uh, with Nelly Diverse that provide that kind of formulation. So we're very excited. That's organic certified professional SPF and has all these uh, benefits. So we're very excited. So in the Nelly Diverse website, I encourage you to, to check it out if you haven't on the NellyDiverse.com because you also will be able to um, take your own quiz. Whoops, I'm having, okay. Take your own uh, quiz. Here we go. Uh, you can take, you know, develop your, what is your skin concern and then answer all the questions. And you'll see that, you know, from your question, if you do have rosacea and if, you know, your routine of what your product recommendation will be on it. So at least you have some, some guidance. But nevertheless, your medical aesthetic or your aesthetic professional are the one that can really help you diagnose or, you know, examine or, or tell you if you do have the symptoms of rosacea. Uh, so I think it's important that there's tools, you know, and to, tools that you probably see, those are old UV tools. It's a woods lamp still used in the medical industry uh, in dermatology, uh, you know, to help us uh, to help you uh, define uh, certain melanomas or skin cancer. Uh, but it helps also to define how much porphyrin, porphyrin, as you're going to say, what is that mineral? Well, under the UV light, you actually see those little orange dots, and this is porphyrin. What porphyrin does is that it actually, it's a, it's a debris, it's a pigment that is actually released by the Propuni bacterium acne. What is that? It's a bacteria that we find in acne, vulgaris acne, which is not acne rosacea. So it's kind of nice to know, you know, do I need acne product or do I need acne rosacea products? So it's kind of a nice way to find it. There's different tools that has the UV lights uh, in order to see that, that uh, porphyrin, you know, that debris uh, that is um, in a under the fluorescent, uh, under the UV light, sorry, becomes fluorescent. So it's kind of nice. Um, yeah, and you can see like in, in this case, uh, the viral infection you know, sometimes, you know, we, we don't realize and then suddenly under the light, we see the viral infection 
uh, this is herpes simplex one, but it's kind of nice. There's different tools out there that have been used um, in the medical aesthetics and aesthetic industry that is, you know, great to document to know, you know, what kind of treatments we're going to do. And with Melly the Rus Laboratory, we always use uh, the Visia, the Visia Light for all our testing. The Visia helps us to really keep a good documentation uh, and, you know, show you that, yes, there is possibility for results. After 30 days, we guarantee results. So it's kind of an insurance for, you know, for the consumer. We really need to see from day zero, day 10, and then, and then day 30, how much improvement you're going to get. Uh, so let's just, just quickly, because I think it's important. You know, let's take this client that uh, looks young and perfect uh, to my eyes. She goes under this uh, Visia lamp, and uh, then you see that, oh, wrinkle, she's in the green zone. If you pay attention here, this is the green zone. This is perfect. She has no problem with wrinkles. She has beautiful skin. Everything is perfect. And normally, a client like this, you would, you know, you, she would come to a, uh, um, a skincare specialist, and she would, you know, treat her in this condition, in, in her case, for hydration. Because that's what we see. We see she has dehydration. Uh, we can see a little bit. How do we recognize uh, dehydration? It's, it looks shiny, but when you touch it, it's dry. So that's a form of lack of water. So, of course, we would tell her, you know, you need to drink more water. Um, you know, but here, wrinkle is perfect. We go in texture. Oh, texture's in green zone. Uh, Mrs. Smith, you're perfect. Everything is doing well. Hmm. Now, we look at this and we put her under the lamp and here we are, you have telangiectasia that are basically your vascular system is dilated. So you can see all this redness that is actually taking place. So you are genetically predisposed to rosacea. So this is why it's very important that you follow my recommendation. You're not gonna go home and put products that are going to be blood stimulating. So any products that is anti-wrinkle will be damaging for you. So this is a whole different dimension because consumers, they, they just go to the part, department store in most cases, 95% of cases, they don't even go to their professional, which they should, but they go to their uh, department store and the department store lady, I want a wrinkle product. Okay, here's a wrinkle product. They put their wrinkle product, but reality in this beautiful skin, if she would put an anti-wrinkle product, she would just aggravate, whoops, she would just aggravate uh, her rosacea. So it's important to have the right uh, diagnose. So if you have the symptoms, if you do have flush or blush, when you drink alcoholic beverages, you eat spicy, or when you get very stressed out, you turn red, those are signs that you have rosacea. Is it bad to have rosacea? As a matter of fact, no. Why? Because your skin is getting fully oxygenated. As a matter of fact, you don't need any oxygenating treatments forever for the rest of your life. You are so well oxygenated. You will age a lot less than anybody else as far as wrinkles. You won't need to buy anti-wrinkle products for the rest of your life. Why? Because your skin is well oxygenated, well, you know, nourished, uh, because the capillary are the, are the ones that are providing to the skin, the basal germinative layers, the epidermis, the necessary nutrition. So this is why it's interesting. So imagine this lady here, right, could use soap and water for the rest of her life and never have problems with wrinkles, especially when we talk about those zones, where here, the T-zone, the nose, the chin, and the cheeks. So when you look at this, in this case, all where you see the platform of redness is where she will not have ever problems with, with uh, sorry, with the wrinkles. So it's kind of, you know, it's a good thing to know because it's uh, a good genetic heritage. But let's make sure that we keep, perme you know, we put like shingles, if you'd like, on those capillaries, uh, just to, I'm, I like to imagine things. So I put like shingles because your capillaries are dilated. So I, I want to make sure we close, kind of, not close, but kind of fix and uh, build a little bit more structures so that your capillary is not so dilating and causing this redness and being aggravated all the way to acne rosacea. And acne rosacea has a combination of things. We said pH gets off. So if you're not pH, uh, a, a healthy pH 5.5, your immune system is impaired. And we've discussed that, that you know, with this environment, what's going on out, uh, unfortunately, today, we, our skin is, your skin is not healthy. So it is our role to bring this back into the green zone and refix the, you know, rebalance, if you'd like, the skin in order for the immune system uh, to work much better. 
Uh, in this case, UV damage, she has no problems with UV damage. She is perfect. Uh, no UV damage, she's in the green zone. Beautiful job, she must be using uh, sunscreen. And of course, she's young in this case. Melanin, hmm, there's, she's in the red zone. What that means is that the melanin content is a higher than a female of the age of, a, of a, the same lady at the same age with the same ethnicity. So if we know this, then if this lady, for example, would be pregnant, we know she will develop, for example, melasma, uh, cloasma, so it's pregnancy mask. So those little pigmentation uh, brown marks that may occur uh, at the time of pregnancy due to hormones. So it's important to regulate that as well. So that's, you know, your professional that will do that. Uh, the same thing with pores. Pores, if they're too big, uh, it's like little bowls of um, your microbiota. So all your microorganisms, your microbiomes live in those little bowls. She has too many bowls and we need to refine those bowls. We need to make the texture even. And if we have the texture, the texture of the skin even, then we don't have the perfect bowl of bacteria uh, developing. So, you know, that's another sign. So it's, again, our role will be to make sure that this goes back to the green zone. Uh, porphyrin is the same thing. That's what I mentioned before. That's the Pacunibacterium acne. So bacteria, pathogenic bacteria in this case, we all need them. But in this case, has a higher count in the nose. So she will have breakout on the nose very soon if she doesn't use the proper bacteriostatic cleanser. So it's important not, you know, to, to not use sulfate on the skin to destroy the hydrolipidic factor. We need to have a healthy skin, but more likely, you know, make sure that she uses the proper cleansing she does not have. So any foaming cleanser, for example, in Nelly the Verse, no matter which one you choose, they are all bacteriostatic cleanser. So this would be prevented. After one month, if I would reevaluate their skin, the, her skin, we know that this will be completely improved. Exfoliation, of course, uh, is also important. Same thing with the pores. To improve the, the textures is exfoliation. So we have three exfoliants uh, in Nelly the Verse that you could choose for to regularly, you know, bring that uh, skin uh, to be even and to pH balance uh, regularly. Your pH is your toners. Uh, and the same thing for the spots. So just get an idea. And I think it's important to understand that, you know, having a full perspective uh, of the client, it's kind of nice because we can really address it and then see the improvement from the morning. I mean, from the morning, from day one, uh, all the way to 30 days uh, and so on. And, you know, it's motivating to see that after a few days, you can actually see some kind of improvement. Uh, so here on blackhead removal with no extraction, uh, the texture, the density is improved with no using any of the fillers, uh, injectable products that are available, you know, today, just topical. We're just looking at topical. Uh, wrinkles, skin tightening, the same thing. Of course, texture we talked about, you know, acne when you have just a little bit of spot, you just, you know, use the roll-on serum and then, you know, it's gone. Telangiectasia, you can see the redness. We rebalance the redness, we reinforce the capillaries, then the client is ready to go. Uh, and we talked about that. So same thing for wrinkles. Uh, you can see the texture of the skin is improved. We remove the fatigue and that is with the aid of exfoliants. Okay, in this case, it's the three minute gommage and the life cell eye contour. Uh, so it's a treatment that contains spermoxamine. Uh, so it's just a treatment that you do every day and then you take your own pictures so you can see the improvements. So it's, uh, it's nice. Uh, pro I mean, the product recommendation is key, especially in, during this time, it's important to do your steps at home, uh, you know, to do your minimum steps. And we know that uh, body type, you all read my book, I'm sure. Uh, Anti-aging, the cure based on your body type. It's all about body classification. I kind of vulgarize the method of Hippocrates uh, based on the bone structure and the muscular system. You fit all within a body type. And we know that this particular type, the one on top, is the one that are genetically predisposed to rosacea. So if we fit in a um, larger bone structure, uh, larger muscular structure, more round muscles, uh, there, genetically, you are predisposed to have rosacea. Again, it's not bad to have rosacea, it's just to know about it and to maintain and control uh, imbalance. Uh, then if you're in this category, uh, more petite bone structure, if your feet and hands are always cold or if you're always cold uh, overall, uh, you know, and the, the, you can see that the, no matter how fat you are, we never look at fat, we're looking at the bone structure. We know for a fact that this particular classification, if you have rosacea, it's probably due for two things, either the environment, 
you know, not protecting your skin, uh, smoking, you know, maybe our secondhand smoking, uh, or eating too much spicy food, or um, again, it's the parasympathetic nervous system. So it's stress. So these people, you know, right now, they're probably taking 20 projects at the same time. They are stressed out. It's all internal and they're always worry. So because of that, their uh, parasympathetic nervous system is, uh, unfortunately, you're aging yourself and rosacea may uh, occur. You may age faster. You may wrinkle faster. You may develop all kinds of skin condition because your parasympathetic nervous system is not regulated. So yoga, meditation, breathing, uh, of course, eating well, I, I'm not even mentioning because I know that you know. Uh, so I, it's an important thing, and this is all in, the, in, in a book I, I wrote uh, called Anti-Aging the Cure. Uh, I will have a class on body type. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, it's going to come up in the next few, few weeks, so we can actually elaborate more and also the skin predisposition on each uh, body type. So it, here on top, it's all vascular. Uh, here on top, the skin on the epidermal structure is thicker. So they, they wrinkle faster, they have wrinkle expression, uh, they don't turn pink or rosy cheeks. Uh, they may develop uh, all kinds of skin pathology, skin problems, uh, and that's usually due to the nervous system. So it's kind of just a little, you know, good to know. Uh, for acne, I'm not going to go into the detail because we're going to have a session on acne and how it takes place. But what I want you to know is that, yes, it's different than the stages of rosacea. So uh, rosacea takes place in stages. Here we're talking about acne grades. So the grades takes, you know, starts with a blackhead, right, on microcomedon or comedon, either open or closed. Then we have papules when you start to have a pimple. Then it goes into a pustule, then you actually see pus on your pimples, and then it goes into nodules, and then later on cysts, deep cysts, and you know, really deforms the skin. So this is how the acne takes place. And at this point, it's really your microbiota that's completely more pathogenic. Uh, so we need to work at the Populi bacterium acne. That will be our treatment. And for that, um, of course, because of the diadermic methodology with Nelly Diverse, so we have a way to, to bring in the products in um, so that it makes a difference. Uh, we do have the six products for uh, anti-acne. That's called BioAcne. That's completely organic, certified by EcoCert. Um, that's a simple step. So it's a cleanser, basically the serum that you roll on to the pimple on a daily basis. Your moisturizer, uh, that's your moisturizer up right here, and your pH toner, and then you do your mask. That's it. Even just with the cleanser and the serum, 50% of mild acne, uh, grade one to three, is gone. So it's kind of a nice treatment, especially knowing that there's no, um, there's no chemicals in the sense of uh, it's organic certified. So we use uh, um, different formulations with magnolia and we use uh, the bark tree uh, fermentation. So, and salicylic acid is extracted from that. So it's kind of a very nice treatment. And again, we are able to bring it in the skin to make a difference. So as far as results, it's quite dramatic. We have amazing uh, results. And, and that's it for my presentation today. I mean, of course, you can find on Nelly Diverse so much information. This is all the visibility we've got uh, on the news. There's so much uh, product that had the media exposure. I encourage you to see them all. Uh, you know, there's so much to see. You can have a look yourself in uh, different magazines. Uh, we're very lucky and I, you know, again, I want to say thank you to, to, my, to our entire team. At last, I just want to mention a word that we do have, I don't know if you had a chance to visit, but if you go on the Nelly Diverse YouTube channel, so you go on YouTube uh, first, you, you choose a YouTube, and then you just simply um, type in Nelly Diverse. Uh, so Nelly Diverse, and then you will be able to see all the different uh, products and the entire video of YouTube uh, is, list, is listed on every product category we have. It's so educational, you'll be very impressed. Take a moment to have a look at them. They're, those are tools that have been recently um, made. Uh, and again, we're so proud to have them. So take a moment, just watch one so you can appreciate uh, and see what we have done. Uh, again, the sponsorship was with uh, Nelly Diverse. Again, I'm Manon Pilon, and I want to thank you for joining me today uh, on everything you need to know about rosacea. If you do have questions, we do take questions. Uh, if you don't mind writing it to them, to, to us, uh, you, there's a place for you to write your questions or send you, you know, send us an email. It will be very happy to answer any of your questions today. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and thank you so much for joining us.